Hey guys, so this is the mid-month Art Explained. I'm gonna be going over Chancery again, uh, where I'm at in the process, what I've done for the color schemes, and then showing you my ideas for making a background, not the backgrounds that I did before. Uh, this is more backgrounds for texture, something to bring a little more dimension to each page since I'm basically gonna be doing flat colors to save time and also just to really get going on the project. I, I don't want to spend hours uh, and days on one page when I really just need to get the story out there at that point for book zero. So stay tuned and uh, I'll see you at the end. So here we have just the regular block of watercolor paper I always use in the tutorials. And here is six tea bags with mm, maybe about a cup of water, a little more. And I've had them steeping for about five to ten minutes now, so you can see it's really dark in color. I'm just going to be making some different textures and backgrounds uh, that I'll be using as layovers onto the actual drawings on the computer. So you'll see me doing lots of different techniques and just sort of trying things out and I'll see what works later on the computer.
So here we have the first page of Book Zero. Now Book Zero is made to be uh, more of an introductory into the world of Chancery. And so it's going to be following a character who we might not see very often or even again once the real book starts. But you get to know the world better so that by the time we're really following our main characters you won't be lost as to what's happening. Now this is just the beginning. Um, so what what's really been happening is deciding on the kind of lines. So in my last video I basically was at this point which is this picture here. Um, that is after doing those sketch lines and then bringing them into Illustrator. Um, I really wasn't happy. It, it does look organic which is nice in some areas but it also looks really sloppy I think. Um, those are some very basic colorings to kind of see what I was gonna work with more of a painterly or more of a flat colors. All in all I just was never happy with it. I thought it looked I thought it looked really sad. <laughs> so here we've been, I've realigned everything in Manga Studio and you can see here things are a lot smoother. Um, got some basic colors going. I think I'm going to stick to my color palette here which is um, these colors here, these blues and greens and dark tans and then until some lighter browns. Um, I think my main goal is for the world outside, at least for book one, to feel more cold uh, and gray and for the people to be more warm in tones so that it represents more hope for the characters in the world of Chancery. Um, now this is what I was just showing earlier with the textures. I've got several here that I've been playing around with. Uh, this one that I'm showing right now is the one that I think brings the most to the picture. I've changed some of the hues and whatnot to show you what it's like. Um, here, I'll go to the normal so you can see. Yeah, it was definitely different than the original. Um, which would be right here. Not for you. Here we go. So this is the original after I scanned it in from the picture earlier now to this. So you can see there's a huge difference in the saturation and in the color choices. So I wanted it to fit more with what we have going on for the other colors. Um, I think I'm going to stick with this sort of uh, textures in the blues and greens. Um, this is the coffee stained one which is just just to kind of see what it would do. I think I'll probably be using it for sure but not in this scene which is the whole point of making all these other textures and, and whatnot is to find which pages they look best on. So it's not necessarily going to be the same texture on every single page, you know, page in and page out. This is it colored a little more in the blue and green, which is still interesting, but just not what I'm looking for on that first page, I think. Um, so this is what I've been working on. Um, I'll be showing you more once I have more, but at this point this is what I've got. I've at least decided on the colors, which was a, a big hurdle, and I was going through a real point of uncanny valley, which is when something doesn't quite look realistic, but also doesn't quite look like a cartoon or a drawing, and the characters were starting to look really scary. So I've reworked them some, and I'm, I'm still re-sketching a lot of the same pages over and over um, because it just was really unsettling to me. Uh, so things will be changing but at least I'm on a better track and I feel like the other pages are going to come together much quicker. So that was it. Uh, if you have any questions about the process or I didn't really explain it very well, please just put them in the description. I'm happy to explain it more. Uh, and if you want to find me on any socials, I'm on everything from Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, and Itzy, if you want to find some of my artwork there to keep as your own. So I will see you at the end of the month for the next Art Explained. And as always, each weekend is a new sketch video. I'll put the playlist in the description. Bye, guys.